do you know about this car then? Uh, never worked on one. Ford V8 Pilot. Silly thing. I mean, Gordon's getting a um, electronic distributor for it. Ele electronic ignition. Because once the radiator's in, the, the distributor cap goes on there. You can't get to to adjust the points. Okay. <coughs> without taking the radiator out. So um, get the electronic one, and then you don't basically have to touch it again. Change have to change the water pump. But the water pump is the engine mount. Rebuilt the car, the starter motor went wrong, so that's away being refurbed. Rewired the voltage regulator because all that was dodgy. It was on positive earth, so I reversed the polarity because the new um, distributor won't run on positive earth. All the wiring to the lights was all damaged, so I've redone all that. Back brakes were seized on, so I've done that. The wheel bearings were loose on the front, so I've done that. Just waiting for some bits to come for the jacking system. It's got a four. It's got hydraulic jacks underneath it. Okay. But it's damaged underneath where the inlet goes. So we've got to get a new one of them. And you switch it to, you can put it on, jack the front up only. Do all jack all four up. Or just jack the rear up. So you put it on whatever you want. And you put a jack handle on that and pump that. Okay. And it's, uh, you can't really see them. They're like hydraulic rams that just push down. Yeah, it's a good idea. That's nice reservoir for it. That bolts on there. The jack bolts on there, and the fluid goes from there and goes down those two tubes and just jacks all the car up. But you wouldn't want to sit underneath one while it's jacked up. So, is this an original engine in the car? And it's a recon engine, but it is the correct engine for the car. Yeah, it's a flat head, exactly the same as Melvin's truck, but. This is a lot later. He's got the pumps, the water pumps in the cylinder heads. This one hasn't, they're in the block. It's like it's an English made engine instead of the American, but it's a copy of the American. So this is an English car? Yeah, yeah, English car. And how many did you say was made or? 22,000 I think they made. Okay. So not a lot really by car standards. And it was uh, old fashioned you said when it was first? Yeah, when they came out, 46 or 47 they came out, 46 I think. But luckily this one's been converted to 12 volt. Originally it would have been a Stromberg car, but the British put a Solex on it. Yeah, slightly different casting, there's core plugs in the back of the block behind the cylinder head and bits and pieces that are different, but nothing majorly different. They're different big end shells, basically it's exactly the same dimensions. Same CC, 3.6, 2, two, two. I'm just trying to work out what wires there what on here. That should go on and off with your ignition, which it does. That one should go on and off with your side lamps, which it does, headlamps, yeah. The other one should give a dull reading, very dull on ignition, and that's your petrol feed. Yep. Okay, now I've got to rewire it all, get back to where the wiring's any good. See, it's the old stuff, it's like, um, it's not plastic coated like that. It's bitumen with cotton over it, it'll just snap, see? Okay, yeah. It's your wire inside, so you can't leave it all like that. <laughs> Next week on The Workshop.